what is a cardiopulmonary arrest so basically cessation of effective ventilation and circulation is called cardiopulmonary arrest uh so what do we mean by effective ventilation ventilation and circulation okay so effective ventilation and circulation basically means that that ventilation and circulation is enough for a person for his metabolic processes to occur what i mean what do i mean by ineffective ventilation and circulation so uh have you all seen a patient gasp yes so i can see the chat box so i guess if you have any interactions if i ask you any question you can put it on the chat box because i want to keep this as interactive as possible okay so have you all seen a patient gasp has anyone seen a patient gasp okay so i'll take it as a no so when a patient gasps what okay so you garima has seen a patient gasp good so do you garima do you think gasping is an effective ventilation okay and someone else can also answer it's not necessary that only garima answers so is gasping an effective ventilation no so gasping is not an effective ventilation okay and similarly uh circulation so when you have a ventricular tachycardia also the heart is beating right there is some amount of circulation but is that effective that is not effective so cardiopulmonary arrest is when there is cessation of effective ventilation and circulation okay and so why are we so interested in cardiopulmonary arrest and that too why are we discussing about pediatric cardiopulmonary arrest so uh, basically why we are discussing about cardiopulmonary arrest today is because the arrests that occur outside the critical care units in pediatric hospitals have very very poor survival rates okay so uh, compared to even adults pediatric cardiac arrests have very poor survival rates especially if they occur outside the critical care units and that's why it is so important for every doctor to know about pediatric acute life support and that's why we're discussing this topic today so basically in children what happens is there are two different scenarios so unlike adults where it's mostly a sudden cardiac arrest in children it is mostly because of hypoxia with or without decompensated shock and that will be the most common reason for a pediatric cardiac arrest um and what and the other cause will be the sudden cardiac arrest sudden cardiac arrest is probably because of your vt vf or pulseless electrical activity okay so vt being ventricular tachycardia ventricular fibrillation and your pulseless electrical activity so these are the three main causes where where, where you have a sudden cardiac arrest but the main cause i'm repeating it again will be hypoxia with or without decompensated shock okay so basically in a cardiac arrest what is the goal of your therapeutic intervention whatever you do it will be therapeutic what is the goal of your therapeutic intervention is return of spontaneous circulation you would have heard a lot of intensivists use this rosc term so what does that basically mean it means return of spontaneous circulation so it is basically the restoration of spontaneous and perfusing heart rhythm okay this is what we talk about effective circulation so we want to get back effective circulation okay and how do we know whether the patient has got back into rosc we can detect it by electrical activity on the monitor or by palpating the pulse clinically okay okay so all of you would have seen this list it's it's available in all our hospitals in all the er's all these h's all these t's so th this is just to reiterate the fact that if any of these causes are present in our child it holds true it holds true for adults as well these are all reversible causes of cardiac arrest so it is very important to treat these causes so that we save our patient okay so these are the reversible causes of cardiac arrest um so just look at this hypovolemia how do we correct it you give a bolus hypovolemia hypoxia okay you follow your ventilation strategies you give off oxygen uh, next is acidosis so you correct the acidosis hypoglycemia give a dextrose bolus hypo or hyperkalemia okay appropriately manage it hypothermia rewarm tension pneumothorax release it by a needle thoracostomy cardiac tamponade toxins thrombosis okay all these can be easily reversed by uh following the correct therapeutic intervention okay